everyone this is Kelly and I am back with a, another video for honeybee stamps today I am going to attempt to create a fireworks card using some Molotow masking fluid it comes in the pin that I showed you so I've just drawn some very basic just firework looking design on some watercolor paper I'm then going to take some distress inks to layer and layer and layer on this background. So first I use some squeeze lemonade because I know I want the center of those firework bursts to be bright light. And then I took uh, Chip Sapphire, it's that deep navy blue distress ink, and I am just patting these onto the surface of that background because I don't wanna scoot them around, I don't wanna take up that masking fluid that I added um, with that pin. And so I am going in with the chip sapphire again and just dabbing that on, patting it on. I took a little bit of candy apple to do kind of a red, white, and blue look. Um, I took a little bit of blueprint sketch, which is more of a royal blue into that top little burst of fireworks there. And then after I get the colors laid on, you're gonna see I add a lot of water. This is black soot here. So it's getting ready to get really dark like a night sky. I'm gonna spray it pretty generously with a uh, distress sprayer. And then when I don't want color or I don't want it dark, I just kind of take a paper towel and dab it up and um, kind of dab it where it gets muddy or where it, color is going where I don't want it to go. Kind of dab it out of those middles because again, I want a little bit of color in there, but I'm not, I don't want it really, really dark because um, that's the big burst of the fireworks. So I just keep layering and layering and layering until I get the look that I'm going for. And I love these distress inks because you can layer them. If you don't like the way that they're looking, you can kind of dab them up um, and then lay down some more ink or some more color and spray it again and just keep going until you get the look that you're going for. And so you'll even hear, see here in just a second that I kind of spray and then look and then add just a little more ink and I have done this lots of times in the past with doing like the galaxy backgrounds and I love these little ink pads because I can just take them straight to the paper. I'm not worried about trying to use a watercolor brush or um, a blending tool. I just take the ink pad straight to the paper and I have better results that way. I did add a little bit of wilted violet for a, a kind of a purpley night sky look. And I think this might be the final drying process here. Um, and I just dried it with my heat tool, as you can see here in between. Um, I'm too impatient to wait until you know to set it aside and let it dry so um, after you're finished and it's all dry you have to wait until it's really good and dry you can either use your fingers or a an adhesive eraser and very gently take that masking fluid up it just kind of peels away I wanted to use some gold glitter paper and I did not have any in my stash so I made my own with some uh, glitter paste I just spread that all over the piece of cardstock there and then I want my greeting or my sentiment to match this is the celebrate die from honeybee stamps and I just cut that right out of the center of that piece of gold paper I'm sorry I have a little helper there to the side he um, he tries to help um, so I've cut that greeting out of the center of that card you're never gonna see it um, and then I'm adding that on to a white card base with some ATG tape get that all set up and you can see my card base is bigger than my background so I just trimmed the card base around it to make it all fit the last thing I did was add a little bit of Nouveau adhesive in 
those the middle of the big burst of fireworks and in my stash I had this glitter stuff that looks like gold nuggets it's little chips of gold and I thought that would be really cool to add like the little sparkling effect of the fireworks here's a look at the finished project I kind of like the way it turned out I wasn't so sure when I started out but I think it's kind of cute all the supplies can be found at honeybeestamps.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.